Hi, I'm here with what I have been calling it my favorite session IPA. Single Cuts Billy 18 Watt. It's 5% alcohol, which is, I guess people are calling 5% and higher beers session beers these days, but they're kind of on the edge. But for a 5% alcohol hoppy beer, this is one of my favorites, but I've never had it out of a can. Had a couple times on tap, and uh, it's like all the other single cuts, it packs so much hop, just essence throughout your face, and good amount of bitterness and fruit and everything, but this one is not nearly as bitter as a lot of the single cuts, and that's why I think I like it a lot. It seems like it's pretty fruit forward too. This was canned, I think exactly a week ago, or no, I guess eight days ago. And they say they use American and Aussie hops in here, which isn't surprising. Probably Galaxy, not, not quite sure. And looking pretty good. I guess the head's a little bit a little bit wispy and thin thinly bubbled. Ooh, but this glass is really dirty. Uh-oh. How did that happen? You can see all these bubbles. And Maybe, you can, yeah, you can see the bubble stuck on there. That means that this glass is not properly cleaned. Um, and I can fuck up the head like that. Ooh, that's the first time I think I used the F word. But it'll still be a good beer. But that's why I think that one of the biggest things in, to really enjoy a good beer is having proper glassware and mostly properly cleaned glassware. Because this would have had a nice, beautiful, thick head, I think, but all those little, all the little dirty parts of the glass make big bubbles come up really quickly, and you lose a little carbonation, and the head doesn't doesn't stay around as long and look as nice. But maybe I'll keep the bottom of this to pour on once these uh, these bubbles dissipate. That are st there's still some stuck to the bottom. Mmm. Yeah, it's, it's got that, you know, slightly watery edge to it, like, um, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be very sweet, um, but and that's what a lot of Session IPAs are like, um, but it has just a, just a good amount of that eucalyptus Australian greenness, clean green quality on top of lots and lots of grapefruit and, like, unripe pineapple, peach, all that stuff. It reminds me a lot of the Trillium Tiny Birds, except those ones tend to be a little bit sweeter. Mm. Yeah, not too much body. But I guess good, a good amount of body for 5%. Really refreshing. It's got a nice, a nice big grapefruit, grapefruit zest, grapefruit peel, but not too bitter taste with uh, melony flavors too definitely are in there cantaloupe and and I guess honeydew it's kind of got this cool green quality um, I guess it's on the moving it towards the eucalyptus -y, um, qu not quite menthol uh, green edge and a nice firm drying bitterness but not too not too bitter not not too like soapy or pithy. really refreshing but smacks you pretty strong with with all the hops as single cut is known to do yeah that's really nice and now it's like I'm getting a little bit of a, of a prickly like light spruce piney sappy um, bitterness in the finish that lingers but not too much let's see if I can get some head with the second pour here. See, that looks that looks a little bit better. Mm hmm It'll probably still die down rather quickly, but there aren't too many Session IPAs out there that have mastered the creamy uh, head that leaves all the nice lacing like a really well-made, you know, full-strength IPA. And it's starting to die down a little bit. Well, this one's really refreshing. It seems like when I've had it before, it wasn't even quite as potent. This is pretty intense. Maybe I didn't have it when it was that fresh. 
Um, you never know with kegs also how old a keg is at a bar. But in a single cut, I always sell it up pretty quickly. But yeah, the bitterness is a little bit stronger than I remember it. It isn't uh, super crushable, as you, as you might say, but for a beer that gives you an explosion of hop this experience um, at only 5%, it, it, it's really great. Like they say on their website, they're, they're very proud of doing this, getting all the intensity of a of like a basically a double IPA into a little beer because you have to do stuff the next day and you don't want to get drunk but you want you want your ex intense hop juice this is this is kind of the king of them all I would say it's totally different from something like a uh, Lawson Super Session that's a little sweeter and more malty um, with a clean hop resin edge to it I don't know if I uploaded my review of the Lost in Super Session number two. Uh, this one is just like a, a a juice bomb, but with plenty of fresh green bite to it. Now there's a little bit of a menthol-y sort of thing going on, but it's not too too sappy and and pithy and bitter. But I can't see how anyone would like say, "Oh, I don't like sessions because." this be like not hoppy enough or where are the hops yeah, this is one that's just is not let down it does not seem like single cut has a uh, has has changed their their style at all for the session thing they they, they did a good job because a lot of breweries are like used to making strong beers and they try to make a lower alcohol one they don't know what they're doing and it ends up being watery or not hoppy enough or not enough of the main flavor component or they make it too sweet or too dry or anything but this one's got every component you want in there but I have to say it's not my favorite all time right now though it is super juicy but it's, and it, well, I like it doesn't have the the, the weird dank oniony garlicky sort of thing going on at all I would say it's sort of clean um, but it's not the time that I uh, I got a flat tire and then it got fixed and then I just had enough time to go into a bar and get a pour of this that was probably the best time I ever had this beer um, it's not as good as that time maybe it's because of the situation but um it's good but I don't know if it's I'm glad I only got three cans because it's pretty darn expensive the most expensive session IPA probably in the world right now <laughs> but I don't, I don't complain about prices especially with small companies so I, I highly highly recommend trying this if you like IPAs and you're looking for something lower alcohol that'll give you that that hop explosion in your mouth of, and juiciness that everyone seems to want these days <clears throat> But you're going to still pay double IPA prices probably for this if, if you can find cans of it. But very good. Whatever, 80, 85, 87,000 bags of popcorn.